Hi, I'm Joe with Hughes News Views and Reviews. And I just wanted to really quickly show you how I'm about to retrofit uh, this system to account for our uh, new primary power backup, Anchor Solix F3800 Plus and one expansion battery. Now, uh, about 13 years ago, I uh, everything was generator, gasoline generator. So on the outside of the house, right about here, is a 240-volt 240, 240 inlet, and I would wheel the generator out from the garage all the way around the house, park it right outside, connect to um, that inlet, which then fed this transfer box. As you can see, this energizes six circuits inside my panel. What I'm doing now is uh, I've got the Anchor Solix. Uh, so now primary is battery and secondary is the gasoline generator. One of the reasons I'm doing this is uh, about 13 years ago, for those of you in the Northeast, you may remember Superstorm Sandy. We're 12 miles from the Jersey Shore. We were without power for seven days and it was the entire coast that was without power. So I had to drive, you know, 30, 40 minutes west to get gasoline and one tank of gasoline ran about six or six hours. It's a 7,250 uh, uh, watt generator. It's a big generator, 7.25K. Um, so what we would do is we would run it for a bit during the day, shut it down at night just to conserve. Basically it ran the sump pump, the refrigerators and the really important stuff like the stereo and the television. But anyway, we're moving now into battery technology. It's great, I love it. So the electrician is literally on his way today. So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm trying to make it as convenient as possible for my wife and I'm trying to make it so I don't have to pass through open windows. At the moment, if I wanted to run off this, I would have to pass a cable through an open window to the inlet which would come in and feed this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a uh, inlet uh, panel uh, plug here and just think of it as an extension cord. So basically outside will appear inside. Um, then I've got the anchor um, uh, pass-through charging device here, this cord. It was on sale, it might be now. And so that will connect to this new box and then into this panel. Then this is gonna go away. We're gonna put a new inlet here that's gonna feed the panel that it will come in on this 30 amp breaker. There'll be an interlock here to keep it safe. This is all up to code. So that way I can pick which circuits I wanna energize and I don't have to open any windows outside. So once again, um, the generator will still have to be wheeled outside, but I figure I'll only have to run that generator maybe two, maybe three hours to charge this, shut it down, and then this will run probably for anywhere from eight to 10 hours powering the stuff in the house. So we're gonna bring in the um, 240 volt inlet to somewhere here, which will plug into the pass-through charging. Then that'll go in and then coming out, there'll be an inlet here. This will go away, there'll be an interlock here. So that's how I'm retrofitting away from gasoline uh, and making the Anchor Solix F3800P my primary backup power. So hope this helps. If anyone has any questions, leave me a message, like, and subscribe. Okay, so this is after, this is part two of the work that we just had done today. And so the first thing they did was, um, I told you I had a, a generator inlet on the outside of the house. That's where I used to plug in the generator. And I can still do that. And now that I have the um, pass-through charging cable from Anchor, now this is on the inside. I don't have to pass any cables outside the window. This can just connect right in here and off we go, and then it connects into the anchor. The second thing they did was they removed the six circuit, the six circuit transfer box here and put a straight um, battery uh, or generator inlet here, okay? So now this connects to the output, the 240 volt output of the anchor. So everything's inside. I don't have to run anything outside. And then this goes right in. And then the last thing they did was they put this, um, uh, transfer switch interlock. So you can you can only have this breaker, which is battery or generator power, or the main breaker. You can never have both. Okay, you have to throw the main breaker, slide this up, then you can throw this breaker, which energizes the panel. So now I've got um, uh, my 7,250 watt generator pre presented right here. This can go into the anchor for pass-through charging. Um, and then the anchor feeds the generator inlet there 
and goes into the power panel. Um, if something went horribly wrong with the anchor, like for whatever reason it couldn't or didn't charge, uh, I could really go directly from here to here. And that would be just like connecting to the generator directly. So, you know, there's 10 ways to do this and uh, just thought I'd show you how I did it. Shout out to Corbin Electric in Marlboro, New Jersey. They did the work, they did a great job, reasonably priced. They did not pay me to say that, I just like their work. They've done a lot of work around here, so they deserve a shout out. All right, take care, Hughes News Reviews. Like and subscribe.